All right, Shalom, where the real Hebrew Israelites come from the branch of the GMS Indianapolis camp. we like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And Shalom to Sincere Akim and Akwaf, listen and learning. And to you brothers preaching and teaching the truth through the four corners of the earth. All right? So we're just going to uh, go right through the spirit, man. I'll perform. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, beginning in verse 5. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. Right, because uh, uh, contrary to popular belief, man, they think the Most High, uh, Yahweh, which the world calls God, all right, they believe he's just some, uh, just all loving power, which he is love too, but he's balanced with it, all right? So he's coming with evil and only evil. So evil going to what? Bad times, man. All right, so the Lord's bringing bad times upon this place because what? This world is full of sin and iniquity, man. So, and iniquity being what? Sin upon sin. All right, and so it's reached up to the heavens. So the Lord is what? He's visiting the place which he has made, man, because these people have lived wickedly, man. Just like in the days of Noah, all right, uh, when, all, when they were uh, being, uh, uh, let me break it down like this. Yeah, eating and drinking, giving it a marriage, all right? All right, thinking nothing was gonna happen. All right, just living in their sin. Guess what? The Lord killed everybody except for eight souls, man. So that's the power we serve, man. All right? That he's willing to take out the majority of the world just so that what? His righteousness can go. You go for it. You say, bro, because during that time period, even now, that's why these days are like it to that day, right? Yeah. This, this thing is going on, but the message is being brought out. Yeah. This is the message right now to get back right, seeking your house by shooting outside, why you may be found, and call upon why you're here. Sorry. But as this message goes out to the hopeful elect, to a very few women that's going to see that, the rest of the world is going to stupid. Pardoning and bullshit, ultimately waiting for their damnation and their condemnation to come to pass. That's right. right. And uh, kind of a quick piece in regards to uh, Brother Amawa, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Going to the evil, it says, This know also that in the last days, right, we're in the last days right now, right, it says, Perilous times shall come. The brother got perilous for us. Yeah. Perilous, uh, which goes into peril, exposure to the risk of being injured, destroyed, or lost. And that can all tie to what? He said, evil and only evil is tough. Yeah. You know, evil goes to what? E being the time, ill being bad. So what? Only bad times is coming to this place. So it's not the time period to be partying in bullshit, living after the lust of your flesh. Lust of the eyes. It's also be time for you to what to get back right when you have much to shine, so you may have a covering, so you may have refuge in these perilous and evil and dangerous times. Another word that's going to uh, that perilous goes into what savage, brute like. Mm -hmm. So it's a brutal time period that's going to come to pass where a whole lot of people will get caught up out there, caught up, caught up out there and put to death. So right. the Lord going to leave them out to dry because they chose not to seek after His way. They chose to go on their own understanding, what's going to leave them to their death, condemnation, mm -hmm. and destruction. Another one, uh, one of the synonyms is trouble. And so we know we're coming at that time of Jacob's trouble. Where, uh, that, where it's going to increase, you know, more and more. Where he saw, you know, you know, you know that, you know, he has for the short time. Yep. So everybody's going to be affected from the top all the way to the bottom, but it's going to greatly affect, affect uh, uh, it, we so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native. Native Indians, Sorry. and uh, one third of the people, you know, uh, by, by the glory and grace of the mercy of the Lord, you know, we pray that we're not, you know, that we are part of the one third that'll be saved through all the times where it comes to the famine, um, the increase of, of violence that's uh, going to come upon the earth, and of course, you know, you got the uh, concentration camps, um, and then you got the the, the sea hip that's going to be pushed. These are many things that are actually are going to come. And it's going to increase as time and time uh, going to again the exposure of danger. Danger. And so we want to lessen our our, our time as, as far as risk and exposure to those Sorry. dangers. Sorry. Yep. This is, uh, and, and just to add on, because what? And how we're how we're covering ourselves is with the word of Yah Bashim El Shai, man, putting on the whole armor, man. That's you know, because hey. That, and that's what it said. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, man. So we got to have these scriptures, all right? We got to have the, the, this wisdom and knowledge understanding given on the most high. Then ultimately what? We have to have that gift of faith that the Lord has bestowed upon us to come out here and do what we do, man. This ain't of our own, man. This is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know? Because, hey, well, we'll say Acts 5, man. Hey, if this be of man, it shall come to naught. All right? But if you be of the most high, hey, you're going to end up fighting against the most high, man, if you don't get this word, man. Because... 
we're here as the ambassadors of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, man. The representatives for the Lord, man. All right. So hey, well he's talking, he's talking through us, man. All right. So you gotta, hey, take here, man. Take heed. You know. So you can be the Most High, you can not overthrow. That's right. That's right. Just back to brother up. This is our first Thessalonians five and three. Mm -hmm. For one day shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh. Right. So and that's what they're trying to push in the media today, peace and safety. But but if anybody's truly paying attention, man, hey, America is falling, man. All right, it, it's circling down the toilet bowl journey, man. All right, from what? From the uh, uh, these 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 other uh, top nations like the BRICS nation, right? So which consists of Brazil, Russia, India. Uh, South America and China, man. All right, so that's the main players in that, man. Which is an economic unity. All right, the vast majority of other nations are seeking rapid admission yeah. into that as well. Exactly, because they are seeing the fall of this dog. They're seeing the fall that's coming. Yep. You know, uh, another another country that's applying is uh, Argentina. Yep. Their 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 currency just the peso is just, just through them. Yep. So they open peso for their uh, application to be pushed through, so they can join the British nation. Yep. Right, yep. because they see the currency is, is spilled. Yep. 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 yep, we're looking at the fall of the dollar, man. The petrodollar, man. Like I said, when, when these big oil, oil, oil places like Saudi Arabia and stuff say, hey, we, we don't need to use the dollar, all right? Hey, guess what? That's going to that's gonna what? Devalue the dollar anymore once these countries start turn, uh, sending them back and say, hey, we don't need this money. We're going to trade in other currencies, man. You know what I mean? So what? That's gonna cause hyperinflation, man. Go ahead. Venezuela. Yeah, Venezuela was a was a was a perfect example, man. The Lord showing that this was gonna happen to America, man. So we see all these little scenarios from uh, 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 the AI and chip style technology that were like China uses. All right, uh, 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 the stopping the farmers and like the Netherlands and all these other countries. Like we're seeing things that are gonna happen to America all at once happen across. The four corners of the earth, man. Uh -huh. All right. We know about Yahweh Bashim Asha saving America uh, the best for last, man. America, Babylon the Great. All right, saving for last, man. All right. But that's why I said what? This place wouldn't be healed, man. Babylon uh, is not healed, man. All right, because this place is set up to be destroyed. It's prophesied to not to not recover. So when they're saying peace and safety, man, saying everything's going to be all right, you got Joe Biden, you can barely talk. Uh, and all these other politicians just, uh, you know, talking around questions, man. Uh, and there's real concerns, man. You got, what, the, some of these uh, uh, news reporters coming out of these conferences, you know, yelling at their government officials, saying, hey, man, we're about to go to World War III, man. I don't want to die. Why are we not looking into X, Y, and Z, man? You know, and these politicians, what, they ain't answering because, what, they're just part of the go along to get along. They're all tied in, man. Like I said, they're the lesser luminaries, man. All right, they're just following the plans that they're giving. All right, they ain't got no power, man. Go ahead. I right. can say, and then, like you said, even with them voicing their, their opinion, their thoughts, their feelings, you, know, you also have in other countries just past, like, like Sri Lanka, or like in Peru, they actually go into the, these uh, congressmen's homes, yep. all the way up to the president, vice president, We're really forcefully kicking them out their homes, yep. uh, 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 threatening them with their lives. If they're going to kill them, they're going to do this and that. Because like I said, they're not happy with what's, what's going on. You know, they're looking for improvements. They're looking for the next best thing. But how the lease is going to shape and the next best thing is going to be what? Be able to incorporate it to the NWO. You know, right? All these other nations looking for a better currency, you know, a better economy. Well, we know the next big thing is going to what? The MOCB. You know? So it's all pretty much a trick bag. It's all a setup. Yep. Right, how they like, say what they talk order out of chaos. Order chaos. Yep. You know, say hey, bringing uh, order out of the chaos yep. that they put together. Yep. Because with all these uprisings and all these uh, uprisings of the people and the, all the stuff that's going on, the death, the sedition, and all that that's going on, the calamities, then out of nowhere, uh, CBDC has been established. Yep. Yep. So all those you know smoke screens, so to speak, all those uh, everything, those distractions. Yep. They are pushing forth their agenda, whether you like it or not, yep. because all through the will, the will and the power of your Hawaii shot. That's right. That's right. Like yep. I said, so what? So peace and safety. Remember, they're talking peace and safety. They're keeping everybody sleep. It's don't worry about the economy. Don't worry about uh, World War Three. Just sit here, enjoy your bread and circus. Look at the playoffs. The uh, look at the NFL draft. But, uh, the WWE draft, you know what I'm saying? Life. Stay in nothing but folly. Yeah, yeah, stay in the next boxing match, man. That's what we want you. Don't worry about it. Enjoy your bread and circus. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah. All while we pass legislation. Right, exactly. Yeah. While we pass laws and behind your back. Go ahead. Upon them, 
As travail upon a woman. Hey, stop. Read, read it from the top. All right. First that's five. First that's one, five, and three. For when they say, when they, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Right. This sudden destruction, right. destruction is gonna come upon them, man. All right. Like I said, they're rocking uh, these Americans to sleep, man. Especially two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You guys, so. you guys are completely lost. All right. And to be lost is what to be mean dead, man. All right, so you're out here dead. Uh, you're the real walking dead, man. You don't know what the hell is going on, man. All right. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead. I'll keep reading that. Right. Right. Travail upon a woman with child. Right, because suddenly a what? A, a, ba a, ba a, a woman has no control when the babies come. You know, yeah, I know they go to the hospital and might give them medicine to make the, the baby come faster or a certain date or whatever. But the, here's the thing. It's a sudden, it's a sudden instant reaction. It's something you truly can't plan for. Even when they do give you medications or whatever, there's still the process of the baby coming out, man. You still have to deal with the pains, all right? So just like just like they're saying peace and safety, the sudden destruction, right? And say what? And they shall not escape. Right, they're not gonna escape, all right, the things that uh, that Yahweh is coming with, man. Hey, he's coming with the plagues of Egypt as before, man. All right, and many more plagues, man. All right, so the Lord's going to do a, a whole number on this earth, man, because what? They've walked in great pride and in straight oh, wickedness. Oh, good. Uh, that's that's I, good. I actually, I actually got that one. Uh, go ahead and bring that out real quick. Say, uh, Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. That's what we're going to give it to you. Say, for many great miseries, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time, what you brought up, what, the last days, yep. right? In the, that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride. Yeah, right, right, so like you said, the, the pride of the people, yeah. thinking everything's going to be all right. Oh, yeah, we may go through a struggle, but we always, you know, as an action, we always rise, so to speak. It's going yeah. to always be okay. Yeah. You know, we don't, just, that, that bomb is going to be there for us, no matter what. Yeah. Oh, the government, they're going to work it out. They're going to fix it. It's going to be okay. No. It's a many great business. Like you said, it's sudden destruction. Yeah. And when the, like when Trump was in office, he said, don't worry about it. We got everything under control. It's going to be okay. And then the next week or month, Everything was shut down. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like I said, that was peace of safety being promoted through that propaganda. Then what? Destruction came right after. Exactly. So that's gonna happen to those who dwell in the latter world because why? They got this high-minded, this this uh this snotty ass attitude that hey, we gonna always surpass or prevail over whatever calamity that we go through. Yep. But at this point in time, you how about you shot, that's not gonna happen. Like he pulled in Jeremiah 51. Man, there's no, there's nowhere written in the scriptures where when the Americans started to, you know, get take those body blows, so to speak, at a, at a, somewhere they're just going to throw a counter and come back. All right. No, they're not going to, when this place just keeps spiraling down the drain, as we say, it's going to keep going down and keep going down and going down to the Lord, lay this place to rest by thermal nuclear destruction. That's right. They concentrate on laser That's right. That's the only place this place is going, it's down. There's no slope where it's going down and it's gonna come back up, it's going down, no. It's going down, up. Right, it's not gonna go down and gain speed and ramp back up. Right. No, it's going down and never coming back up. <laughs> like, I'm going <laughs> down. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that, that, right, but like you said, but there's, there's not no roller coaster like, ooh, yeah. ooh. Yeah. No, this place is spiring down. Yeah. And it has been going down, as we know, the spirits since what? The late 60s, yep. the early 70s with the yep. Apollo, you know, yep. uh, space uh, adventures they went, you know, yep. that they never went to. Right. But since that point in time, they was, that wasn't at their peak. And after those years, you start to see the gradual decline that America has, you know, been um, witnessing. Yep. I don't know yep. yep. so you got the word? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead and get your hot one and we'll get the definition of that. It's the, like what you're saying, it's the book of Psalm 73, verse 18. Surely... Thou didn't set them in slippery places. Mm. <laughs> right, they, they in slippery places. Yeah. So you walk in that room and they somebody got them mopping, they put the cots aside, well, you slip and bust your ass. Yep. That's what's going on here. Yep. They slip in slippery places. They, they say they, and like in Isaiah 47, they say what well, they are weird in their counsel. Yep. They try to find whatever they can. They, they see what's going on. They see the collapse coming. Yep. But they're painting the picture that everything is all right. Yep. But the Lord, he the one that set that stumbling block. He the one that stepped that uh, set that snare that you're trapped in, and what are you doing? You're in the slippery places, meaning what? You're declining. Yep. You're falling. Right? Thou thou castest them down into destruction. And that's and that's the end all be all. While the Lord destroy you from the inside out, then the ultimate destruction will be for when you send the ther thermonuclear warheads and the cachet of laser beams and to dead this place. That's right. That's to say there should be not one stone left upon another. That's this right. place will be completely devastated, destroyed. As uh, what Babylon says, it should be, it should be uh, 
total desolation. That's right. That's what the scripture says. Right. So with all, with all, with the end all be all come, with all the calamities and all the miseries, you know, all the birthing pain, the birthing pain, so to speak, all the plagues, so to speak, the end goal is for this place to be without an inhabitant by destruction. That's right. That's right. So, but like you said, you're in those slippery places trying to get up and can't. Right? Just like I said, that should be as a trait, a chase rope. Yep. Right? That, that, that rope got shot, and you just sitting there waiting for it to drop dead. And they say, well, then nobody will be able to help you. That's right. So when the, the, the Babylon get destroyed and all that, ain't nobody going to be here to help you. Or we're going to prop you up, or to carry you out. You know, use her as a crutch on this <laughs> Right. Hey, that whole spirit of uh, grabbing yourself by your own bootstraps is going to be gone in America, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, that, 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 the white picket fence and apple pie on the window is gone, man. You know? That great American dream is no war. That's it. That's it. If you think that you're going to be able to uphold yourself and bring yourself back up in this place, that's the game. Nope. All right, hey, America is done for, man. That's right. All right, we need to get back to what we're saying. You see it every day. You, 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 you're watching the news, or you, you just paying attention. You, you, you're not paying attention hard. You just nope. turn on the news and you see the downfall of this kingdom, man. Every day, daily. Hey, anytime you see uh, streets full of homeless camps, man, you can tell, hey, America, what? Like I said, they're through, man. All right, the state of the people, hey, will tell you the, the state of the society, man. Look, right. all these people drugged out out of their damn minds, leaning on the corner, stuck in animation. You know what I mean? Just froze. You know what I'm saying? Playing free tag on the corner, man. Mannequin challenge. Yeah, mannequin challenge and shit on the street corner, man. Bent over a 90 degree angle. You know what I'm saying? Stuck. Hey, brother was just talking about this the other day. Hey, it's going to come to a point where. The economy is going to be so rough that a brother will have to go stay with a brother just to survive out here. Yeah. All right, yeah. the bills are going to become so high, so we even have to lean on your brother, man. All right, just yeah. with a brotherhood, we're going to see a big part of how the brotherhood really operates, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right, because what? This place is going to fall, so the brotherhood is going to show you how we operate, man. That's right. All right, because hey, what, what's going on right now? Property value is going up, so what's happening? Rent is going up. All right, hey, um, your gas bill is a little bit higher. They keep on peaking it every every other couple of months. They peaking up and up and more and more. Hey, I mean, we got what a couple of letters from the electric company too. Oh yeah, we just bumping it up. See, they do it little by little until, hey, until y'all, gradualism. gradualism. So exactly. you don't notice it, and then it comes uh, unbearable for you to pay. Yep. Right. Yep. And then if you notice, too, uh, you might get a snack out of the gas station. They do a shrinkflation. They keep some of these prices, since the prices are rising so high, because, look, you get a bag of chips, you're spending like $3 for a little bag nowadays. But now, so it, it, to, to combat that, they do shrinkflation, where you pay the same price, but it's less to make you feel like, well, at least I'm still paying the same, but yeah, you're getting less. It's like, damn, I just went to the grocery store and spent $200. Why does it only last me half a week now? They used to last me the whole week. Because what? You're getting less of everything that you're buying. You know? Hello? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's get uh, the dice and we'll get uh, Bible 1 and then we'll go. This is Jeremiah 51 and 8. Bob Babylon has suddenly. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. Yep. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. Yep. If so, she and that bomb you would use as what to heal to heal like a wound, man, yeah. a healing ointment, right? So, go uh, read that again. You go into that bomb and goes into medicine. Yep. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah fifty-one to eight. Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Yep. Take bomb for her pain. Yep. If so, be she may be healed. Uh -huh. All right. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaches upon the heavens and is lifted up even to the sky. Exactly. So American Babylon the Great, man, is no longer going to be the, 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 the oasis to the world that people are all trying to get to, man. Now these people are leaving back to their countries. And this has been happening over the last several years. Hey, like, especially like the, uh, these people from China and shit, they close down their restaurants saying, we got to go back. We're not making any more money, man. Or a lot of these places are starting to re they're returning back home, man. Because they're like, or they got here, especially the Northern Kingdom, they'll get here, because I've witnessed that they get here thinking, oh, they're going to be superstar celebrities, just like TV, right? Oh, everybody's going to be rich. I'm going to be hourly having to work and do it. And then they get over here and like, damn. I gotta work actually three times harder to survive, man. Because a lot of these people in the Northern Kingdom that come from, you know, South and Central America, man, a lot of their food grows naturally. They only have to work, and they don't have to pay property taxes. They don't have to pay uh, certain things. They just get their little land, 
build the house that they want to build, and then all they got to do is focus on food. That's it. Okay. They don't have all these bills and taxes, and oh, you got to register this car every every year, and they don't got all the fees and stuff. So they get over here and like, oh, mind blown, like damn. Oh, that's why you wouldn't send me money because it takes all your money to survive over here, man. It, it just yeah. you up uh, when, when, the, uh, when the juicy juice hit. Hey, that was just another way for what? For East Island to what? Destroy those small businesses. So, yep. you know, a lot of those foreigners that were coming over here that were starting those businesses up, they're family right now. Yep. Okay, because of what? The economy has changed, all right? They yep. made it harder for you to actually have a small business because what? At the end of the day, they want you to do what? Turn to him for everything. Exactly. Okay, so they're going to make sure that these small businesses fail in America, yep. man. And that's what's going on. Yep. That's why you see your mom and pop shop, they all closed down. Yep. You see a lot of these uh, self-owned businesses around America are closed. Yep. Because what? At the end of the day, Esau's going to make it to you. have to revert back to him to come for everything. Man. Yep, exactly. And like what they say, it's not healed. Babylon won't be healed, man. Because right. what has been prophesied to be destroyed, all right? So there, there's no make America great again, the build back better plan, all that shit's bullshit, man. The Lord has a bone to pick with America, man. All right, he's coming back with great vengeance, man. All right. Go ahead, Papa Juan. All right, this is the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 10. Nine. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Read 9 real quick. Read 9. This uh. The book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse nine: The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slack. Right. So the Lord, so in all these prophecies to come, from the, the sea hip, all right, uh, the famine, all right, not, not only the famine of bread and water and other supplies, but the famine of the word, right? All right, not uh, what, uh, uh, all the destruction and stuff. All that's going to happen to a point in time, man. All right, the Lord, the Lord, uh, read that again. He says, uh, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Right, the Lord ain't slack concerning his promise. He's ma he's making movements, hey, day by day. Things are, are, are slowly moving, but they're going forward, all right? But, you know, us to us people uh, on this side of things, you know, we can get impatient as people, man. Like, damn, man, a lot of our people think, hey, the Lord taking forever, or he ain't coming back at all. Look at us, blah, blah, blah. But really, in the scheme of things, things are moving the right way because he's going to do all his pleasure at the end of the day, man. All right, so things are moving according to his plan. And 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 if you're spiritual, you can see it falling, man. You can see this place being burnt up. All right, if you're really in tune with the spirit, man, you can see all this collapsing. You, you see it before it's coming, man. All right, but the rest of this world, where they've been blinded to the fact that the Lord is actually coming back to where they don't even believe anymore, man. It's a Yahweh Shunel man. All right. And that's because, that's because the people of the world, they, they want anything to happen on their time. The day is, it's on the time of your house by sending out shots, not on your time. Okay, so that's why I say patiently wait on the Lord. That's right. Okay, you, you can't you can't say, oh Lord, come on, I need you to come back now. It's gonna when the Lord decides He want to come back. It's this playbook, man. That's right. All right. And, and you gotta patiently wait and say, He that endures the end shall be saved. That's right. All right. So you kind of gotta constantly endure and constantly take on the things that's gonna come upon you upon this world and not give up on the Lord, man. That's right. Because right? He's not gonna give up on you. He don't give up on you. That's right. Hey, that's right, man. This is Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39, verse 15. Yeah. Magnify his name and shoot forth his praise. Ooh, his hey, soul. magnify his name, which is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists or he to be, which is the, what the world calls God. And the Yahweh Shah, the son who the world calls Jesus Christ, which he, uh, he, he saves or he delivers, man. All right. Those are the names to call on. It's, it's named singular, man. All right. Yet. Yeah, there ain't no uh, well. He's got multiple names. No, he's got multiple titles. But when it uh, when it all uh, said and done, it's the, about the true name, man. All right, it's a pronoun. They do not. So if I say Walmart, blah 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 blah, and no matter what language, it's still gonna be Walmart. All right, same thing with Yahweh Shai. It was always Yahweh Shai. Hey, I'll give it. I'll give. I'll give an example. Just like if your name. That's lucky. Yeah, technical difficulties. Video cut out on us. So we're gonna start back where we're at. Got it, so. Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 39 verse 15 magnify his name and shoot forth his praise with the songs of your lips that's right so magnify his name so it, it, like I said I was saying earlier uh, the, the people in the world would be like well he's got multiple names now nah, he's got multiple titles but it's the true names are Yahweh who the world calls God and Yahweh Shiloh the world uh, even calls Jesus Christ man alright but it's those names that you gotta be saved by because those are pronouns, all right? Names, they can translate, but they don't translate when it's tied to someone, right? So, like, for an example, like the name Nathan, right? In Spanish, 
is Nathan. And in Hebrew, it's Nathan, right? Okay, there's three ways to say that name, right? But that name only applies to the one that was actually given to you. All right, so if my name is Nathan, right, then that's just my name and that's it. No matter what language you speak it in, like, it's going to be the same thing. You just say, rather be in Chinese, blah, 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 Nathan. Blah, 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 Nathan. Or, hey, you hear sports, Michael Jordan, blah, 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 Larry Bird, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna, it's not going to translate. It's going to say exactly what it is, all right? It's just like when you go, when you fill out an application yep. and ask for your first name, you can have many nicknames that are different other titles. So when you put down your name for that, that job, you're gonna put your actual name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just like how you have my shy is, they will should use their actual name. Exactly. Not go by a title. Right. Because well, just like what? Well, a lot of us have the title of what? Father, cousin, the supervisor, whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? We all have titles in this world, but that's not our name. You're not gonna call me just father because that's my hey, you know what I'm saying? No, because it's just cause I'm a dad. Right. No. They ask you, wait, what what cousin? Right. What, what? What's your dad's name? Right. 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 What is? What? How does that title link you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go ahead. Right. And so say, and shoot forth his praise with the songs of your lips. Yep. And with harps and in praising him, you shall say after this manner. Which and, and the songs of lip way, this word, man, coming out this wisdom, eyes understanding, man. We're out here singing, man. We're out here piping up to the people, but what? They can't dance, man. They can't get to this tune, man. Right. All right. Because this is the spirit of by Shimei man. We're not. We're, we're not preaching what the world wants to hear, man. We're preaching what Yahweh Hashem Yahshua wants to be put out, man. Right. All right, we're not coming out of our own feelings, man. Coming straight out of the precept, out of the scriptures, man. Go ahead. Right. They say here's the point: all the works of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua are exceeding good, mm. and whatsoever he he commandeth shall be accomplished in due season. See, in due season. So whatever the Lord wants to accomplish, hey, he's gonna do it, man. Because what? what uh, read that again. That last part. Yeah. It's slide. They say. They say. You know, and, and whatsoever he commandeth shall be accomplished in oh, due season. Well, I'll read that below. It's oh, okay, it say, all the works of Yahweh Bashim al Shai are exceeding good. See, all the works of Yahweh Bashim al Shai that he does. All right? And we know what the Lord does, both good and evil. But what? It's the fact that he's in total control and he does as he's pleased, man. All right, that's why his ways are not our ways, man. That's why I said, what? The just Lord is in the midst thereof. All right, he will not do iniquity. Because everything that the Lord does is, is, is on point. All right, so so the Lord can't do no bad, man. You know, because He's the Creator and we the creation, man. So, all right, so hey, just like when you set up your little action figures and little toys, hey, you gonna set up the good and bad guy. It wasn't according to the toys' works. All right, you just set it up the way it had to go. You know what I'm saying? Does that make you wicked because you set up the set how you wanted the, the movie to go? No. Nah. All right, you just had roles for everybody. You had the bad guys versus the good guys, man. Even in, in real life, that's how it works, man. Right. You know? You got, you got the guy that's your favorite that's going to win and save the day. All right, you got the people that are around, man. Hey, so how much more do you how about Shimei man, with the whole earth, man? You know? Right. It's, okay. it's also saying, uh, it's also saying, uh, that next, next couple of verses, it said, uh, and none may say, what is this? Wherefore is that? For at time convenient, they shall all be sought out. Mm -hmm. And that his commandment, the water stood as a heap, and that the words of his mouth, the receptacles of the waters. Mm -hmm. And his commandment is done whatsoever pleases him, and none can hinder when he will save. That's right, because hey, this, at the end of the day, the wisdom eyes understand it's going to go out, man. All right, he done chose the men, 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 the men of the Lord, man, to be out here in the highways and byways, do electronics and pistols. All right, and he's put his spirit upon them to do that. All right, so his works are going to go forth, man. All right, all right, this wisdom is going to be pushed out, man. All right, so, and there's nothing you can stop, all right? And, and, and his prophecies are going to be fulfilled, all right? Because the Lord is in the control, total control, man. All right, he, like I said, the deceived and the deceiver are his. So he's got the people that think they're doing the deceiver. Really, they in the trip back because the Lord is the one that's doing it. He's pulling the strings, man. Yeah, I, I like that part where it said, the number say, what is this or wherefore is that? Yeah. Right, because why? We speak, we speak, we speak, we speak yep. these prophecies. Preaching the things that are going to come to pass, yeah. and when the time period comes, like we always quote, uh, Lo, then that shall know that the prophet has been among them. Exactly. Right? You're going to be like, oh, you're going to be dumbfounded. Right? You're going to be dumbfounded because you didn't believe. And now you call out there, you left out there to drive. Yeah. But when the time period might come, that's what I'm saying. But at the time convenient, right? The appointed time that he set forth these prophecies that happen, as we know, for the vision is set for the appointed time. Yeah. At the end of what shall speak and not lie. Yeah. Right? As so what happened to two and three say. Yep. So when the time period comes, then you go know. 
Oh, that's what they was talking about. Mm -hmm. That's what they meant by that. Like bro brought up earlier, the, the concentration camp, the famine, the okay. pestilence, the riots, the up uproars. That's what they was talking about. It's not gonna be a, something of something new that you heard because the song has been constantly sung. It's just like you said, you couldn't get that two step. Yeah. It didn't resonate with you yeah. because ultimately it wasn't for you. Yeah. But again, whether you understand it or not, the time period gonna come when the Lord goes, you know, all the things that was sought out or that was sought for, he gonna put it right there and make a claim for it. Yeah. Exactly. And just like in like manner, exactly. how Yahweh Shah came, just like us, what? There's no cloak from these people's sins now because what? We're pushing out this word. It's not hidden no more. It's been released on the earth, man. Like I said, through the through the World Wide Web. All right, man. Like I said, seeing your teachers, like the scripture said you would. All right, we're never gonna we're not gonna be put in a corner no more. So you see us, man, uh, going across, all across these cities, man. All right, we get kicked out of one place and wipe the dust off of one. What? We set up in another spot, man. All right, so the word's going out, man. So there's not going to be an excuse in that day, man. Right. You know? Because like you're saying, they talk about the water still is the heat, but the second of the everything is by his commandment. Exactly. So by his commandment, that's how all things will come to pass. He has the tokens, the signs, the prophecies, so the things that were said written in the scriptures. Like we always quote, the scriptures are written before time for our learning. That's right. Right? So we, walk, so we understand these things as we come to pass because there is no new thing that will soon. The same things that happened before in the time of Noah, the same things will be happening right now, present. Sorry. Just in this bother they talk. So we understand that all these things, like most of we know that the words, the Lord, the words of the Lord is going to prosper. Yep. The, whatever he has sent the forth. Right? Because of Isaiah 55 and 11. That's right. Whatever he sent for his word, it's not going to come back to him full. It's going to all happen. It's just that it's not going to be on your time. It's on the time of your how about you shot. So by on his commandment, he command all things to do whatsoever he will. That's right. No one can hinder that which he has sent forth to happen. So a lot of these people ultimately want prophecy to be awesome. Yep. Like Esau, Edom, these and these nations, they want to be offset just like you do third. Yep. Because you like living in a, in a society where you are oppressed. But as long as you give you a few bread rooms here and there, you're okay with that. Yep. We're, we're not okay with that. Yep. We not we don't want to, we, we wasn't even uh, created to be oppressed. Yep. This is just a punishment for our transgressions. But we understand that what? He said what? The world was made for our sake. That's right. Right? Sorry. So why should we not have ownership? Why should, why should we not be in the mindset of having ownership of everything? That's what we were set up to have. That's what we set up to do. Yep. That's our inheritance, whether you like it or not. That's right. You know, so at the end of the day, even though you may want things to go this way, or want, I just want to live a good life, live my best life, and all this and that. Well, it's not going according to the will you have by Shemashai, man. You're an enemy. That's right. And he going to destroy you. you know, he going to destroy you and the rest of those who live in that, in, in that, in that stupor of a mindset. Yep. Along with everything you can do. That won't close out You know, eat and wake up and smoke a weed and do all this and that. Yep. I don't care who's in power. I don't care who's the... Uh, Suppressed, it's not. I wake up every day and I'm cool, and I'm happy. Right. Oh, hey, that's them, that ain't me, right? You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, that, ain't nothing to do with me, right? Uh, well, right. you're gonna burn with your oppressor, exactly. Hey, where you gonna die, however, you gonna die when that time period comes, right? Yeah, go ahead and bring that, and we'll finish by one out, then we'll get to us. This is yeah. Isaiah 55 and 11. So, so shall my word be that yep. goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. All right, so it, so it's it's not gonna come back without an effect. All right, so the, the words of Yah Bashim Shai, they're gonna prosper me. What they're, it's gonna do what it's said to do. Right, go ahead. So not return it to me, boys, but it shall accomplish that yep. which I please, yep. and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So so why why you do this, Lord? Why you do that? Because it's because it's the Lord's pleasure to do it, man. All right, it's gonna prosper into what he wants it to prosper. All right, so all the words of Yahweh Bashinashai are good. That means what? So everything that's gonna happen is gonna happen for the good of things, man. All right, hey, hey, anybody in their right mind should want America, Babylon the Great destroyed, man. Because look at all the filthy wickedness that goes on, man. When you match it up to the scripture, you're like, damn, this place is super wicked. And at one point, we were all tied into this place, man. That thinking this is where our home is. This is this is it. We were rooted in this place at one point. Think we're gonna climb the corporate ladder, get rich, or uh, do X, Y, and Z. All men are wickedness. Though, at the end of the day, we're trying to do things to get to a certain level, man. But the Lord took us out of darkness, man. Because when we're when we're following this place, we're in totally com darkness. So we're in a state of confusion, man. Right. Not knowing who we are, thinking we just black, Hispanics, uh, just Negroes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know. Slave, babe, whatever, whatever you thought you were, man. But, but but now we come back to what? That we're the children of the Israel, man. All right, we're, we're, we're of Yashar Allah, man. He prince power. We're princes of the power, man. All right, so now 
like I said, we're, we're back into that kingdom minded uh, uh, mindset, man. All right, we know like, damn, our inheritance is actually this whole world, man. Not this little small plot of land that you gotta pay taxes on and if you can't pay, you lose it. Nah, man, we're, we're, where's the glory in that, man? So we're gonna glory in the name of Yahweh Shem on this side until he comes and deliver us, man. You know? Go ahead, Bob. Right, it's back in Second Peter chapter three, verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, yep. but it's long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance right to us word all right starting with the elect of the nation of israel all right and ultimately he's for the children of israel man all right because like uh, like it says uh, why shall you die man he would love all this coming kind of repentance right all right he's giving us uh, uh, uh this grace period man which is not a license to sin contrary to the uh the christian church where you act like you just do whatever the hell you want to all you gotta do is praise jesus nah man are right, you still gonna be held accountable? Because what are you gonna be judged by then? All right, if you can just the law is done away with, you can do whatever, man. So wh why would you quote unquote go to hell, or why would you quote unquote be destroyed if if all you gotta do is say the name of Jesus and be fine? Nah, man. All right, you have to be held accountable by the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, man. Yeah, though, though we're not justified by the law, so just because you do every single law doesn't mean you righteous. No, nah, because ultimately, what well, this is about faith, man. All right. But we're going to show our faith by our works, man. So we're going to rehearse the righteous acts. Like it says in Judges 5 and 11, man. All right. Go ahead. 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise. All right, so the Lord, we know, is coming as a thief in the night because, like we've been talking about, our people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are in the stupor, all right? You're dead asleep, not knowing what the hell is going on. And then, obviously, the rest of these heathens in the world... Hey, they know a little something, but at the end of the day, they ain't got no place of repentance, man. They don't have a way out. They got to just watch this motherfucker destroy on top of them without hope, all right? But see, we're telling you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, to seek you the Lord while he may be found, all right? While you see the men of the Lord out, while you see the videos on the YouTube and other uh, various platforms on the internet, man, via the World Wide Web, all right? All right, we're telling y'all to get right now and, and, and repent for your doings, man, and come back to, to the true days of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah that you may be saved, all right? We're, okay, but we're not even guaranteed. So we're out here uh, confessing the Lord and hoping that, hey, hey he, 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 he delivers us, man. We're out here giving our calling, uh, giving deals to make our calling and election sure, man. All right, and this is part of it, you know, giving our bodies as a living sacrifice, like it says Romans 12 and 1, man. All right, because what? This is our reasonable service, man, you know? Go ahead, it says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Why say, uh, read that where it says, uh, read that up uh, just a little bit. I'm going to start right here. Got it, got it. It's, uh, 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right, and we know well, that can do that is what? The thermal nuclear destruction from the, from the nukes and then uh, concentrated laser beams from the chariots, man. Those are what's going to be hot enough to melt the elements. So when you look at your periodic table uh, that you learned in science class, which, what, we're made up of those elements as well. So what does that tell you? That everything that you see standing here is made up of all ele elements, including the air that you breathe, all right? H2O, I mean, uh, uh, that's water, sloppy. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It was just, uh, oh, that's yeah, oxygen, oh, right. Yeah, like, what you said, like. Carbon. Yeah, carbon, carbon, hydrogen, yep, hydrogen, hydrogen. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Even like metals, like yep. those are called like transition metals and yep. stuff like that. Yep. You know, metalloids, yep. you got your noble gases, yep. you know, your uh, alkaline metals, your yep. alkaline earth metals. Like yep. you said, like all those things that's a part of the periodic table, you said the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yep. So and all of those elements have a melting point. That's right. And <laughs> For what the scientists say, you know, and even the scientists would say, we know the Lord, like he said, it's gonna melt. It was gonna melt before they even put anything together. Yep. But off those thermal nuclear foreheads, I mean, they can get up to millions of degrees Fahrenheit, right. as they say. <laughs> and then, yeah. hey, and then what? So with the nukes going off, like I said, million degrees or so, you know what I'm saying? But what else does it say? This, all this other shit's gonna be what? Fuel for the fire. So it's gonna be worse, man. Because everything here is, is gonna be cast up in smoke, man. It's gonna be burnt up. So, Hey, 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 you got the nuke, and then what? It's gonna be a chain reaction of total destruction on this, uh, on this other man. You know? what you said was right though. We said H two O. That's just a, a compound. Yep. But that's two elements put together. Yep. 
So it's still, it's still the same yep. thing. Yep. Or if it's two or three or, three or, more, or three or more being called a mixture. Yep. But they all what? They're all elements of anyone. Like you right. said, no matter what. If, and those lights up there, they use neon lights. Yep. Neon, neon is an element. Element, yep. Yeah, those are uh, those last of those noble gases. Those are those illuminated neon type yep. of lights. You yep. know, so like I said, everywhere where you look at it, it's gonna like I said, it's gonna be completely destroyed. Yep. That's why I call it. It's gonna say this place will be what a lake of fire. Yep. Everything gonna be destroyed. All yep. five thousand square miles of Babylon the Great will yep. be destroyed. That's right. You know? right. Go ahead. People, like I said, the people too. Like yeah, the said. people too. Yeah, <laughs> as, as fuel to the fire, man. You know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sarah Connor effects on the gate. You know. Go ahead. All right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Now we know the earth abideth forever, all right? So it's talking about what? The philosophies, the ways that the, 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 the ways that this earth is in, man, the condition is in what? It's gonna be burnt up, all right? Right. That right. vibration that Esau Edom put out with his yep. philosophies, doctrines, ultimately his witchcraft of propaganda. Yep. All that which is wickedness, you know, defiled and ugly and profane, that's gonna be done away with. Yep. Yep. Right. Okay. Verse 11, it says, seeing that, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godly? Right, so how should you be acting? How should you be conducting yourself as a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American that's finding out that what, that you're actually a child of uh, the Most High, man? You're an Israelite, man. What, you should be repenting and turning to the Lord, man, and doing things to the best of your ability, man. Right. Putting off putting off the old man, all right? All these old wicked ways that you used to do, man. So put down the blunts, all right? Put put down the shrimp, crab, and lobster, man. All right, quit sleeping with your neighbor's wife, all right? You know, quit going after married women, all right? Uh, quit following after these other guys, man, and philosophies and ways, man, all right? Stop putting your all into America, Babylon the Great, man, all right? What does the Micah 2 and 10 say? Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, all right? So this is your rest. That's, that's what you need to be coming to the realization, man. All right, so so go ahead. Can I say what? Because this place is polluted. This place is polluted. Yeah. Destruction with a sword. Destruction. Yeah. Destruction with a sword. Destruction. Yeah, because this place will destroy you, man. All right, because what? Because all of these salt eaters' ways of flash have been pushed out, man. To where they telling you if you ain't got bacon on the sandwich, you really ain't nobody. Man, you know what I'm saying? Bacon on my man. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You'll see people on social media. I just can't. I just don't see how people can stop eating bacon. I just seen that the other day, man. I'm like. Easily, you don't eat it. Don't eat it. Yeah, it's like shit. Beef bacon, turkey bacon. Right. You watch cooking videos. They season the chicken and shit, and out of fucking nowhere, they wrap in the chicken and bacon. Yeah. I, I swipe when I just like, 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 bro, what's the point? Yeah. You watch the uh, like a barbecue show like on Netflix. Yeah, they do like the brisket. You know, they got the, the yeah. hamburger and shit. Yeah. Like the yeah. next thing you want, a big ass hole. Yeah, big on the big, yeah, big ass, yeah, turn it in. Yeah, turn it in. Apple in the mouth, right, all that bullshit, right, right. man. Blur. 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 This, is, this is perfect. Yeah. Were, you, were you done with that? <coughs> like go, ahead, go ahead, finish. We'll get uh, uh, Yerami and the, the, the Kadash. Right, this back in Second Peter chapter 3, verse 12. Looking for and hasting unto the comment of the day of Yahweh. Yahweh, where the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. See, hey, and that's the mindset you should be in too. Hey, looking forward to this place being destroyed, that's man. right? Not trying to find out ways. Well, we just got to pull together as, as as Americans and and rise up and take back the government and rebuild this place up like the founding fathers. No, all that bullshit is out the window, man. You know, yeah, that's you should, the, you should, that, I was going to say that's the balance. Yeah. Of when you compare that scripture to Amos five and eighteen. Yep. Right, because they say, Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. Yep. So it is for you. That's, right. that's those people that's in that wrong state of mind. We always protect, we always uh, tie that to like the Christian church because uh, they, you know, they in there talk about God and the glory and this and all yep. this and that. But then also other people speak about that too. You need this too. Even sometimes two, two thirds to say something like that. Yep. Yeah, but you listen, but you go on and all this and that. Yep. But then you tell the things that you have to do to, you know, be accepted by the Lord when that day comes, but they don't want to hear. It. No. Right? But like I said, they want to hit you with that. The Lord knows my heart. Yeah, right. He knows you wicked, right. man. You know, but yeah. that's that. That's the the balance because now I say looking at hasting the day. That's those of the like. Well, well we have the hopeful elect, but the elect, the elect is hastening that day for all this pain, sorrow, the calamities, the struggles, the the diseases, and everything that just weigh us down. You know, saying these corruptible bodies. That's the mindset that the elect is in. Hasten yeah. for this eon to be destroyed. That's right. This 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 uh this uh, rulership of Esau yeah. Edom. But the flip side of that, the Amos five and eight, that that's your people who 
they talk a good game that they want the Lord to come back, but they rather have this place still, you know, flourishing under the under the eon and the vibration of Esau Edom, just hoping just for a better day. Right. No. Right. You know, saying that for it to be a better day, this man has to be uprooted. He has to be destroyed. Yep. Right. Like Malachi four one said, he had leave, the Lord gonna leave neither root nor branch. That's right. That's right. right. Going to what we brought out earlier about that that bomb for that pain. For the hill, that, that shit's over with and done with. Yep. Right, but that's just the flip side, you know. Jacob, but wait, oh, y'all say, no, this, this is, like you say, it's always a balance. Yep. The, the elect is hastening for this day to be hastening for that day. Yep. Because why? They understand immort They understand that we want to be immortal to have rulership. What, now, what was what, what Yahweh Shah say? All right, hey, these days be short for what? The elect yeah, say. Exactly. All right, so uh, fewer days it, it, it's good upon the elect. All right, but like you said, go ahead. Right, just like Second Ezra say, what the kingdom was there for you. Watch, pray for you. Say, pray yep. for a few days. Pray for a few days. I'm sorry. So y'all, what y'all praying for? Short days. You should be in that mindset. Why would you still want to? Why would you prolong this wicked life? This wicked, uh, this wicked man and his rulership and this wicked this lifestyle that he presents to the people. Right. Right. The things y'all think is cool or whatever. This man is destroying you. Yep. By setting his status quo, by setting his way of life. Yep. This way of life is what to get you to go against your power. Yep. And that's what y'all want to live by. That's what y'all want to set. That's what's going to lead to your death and destruction. Just like when you were talking about earlier when they say, you know, like the, uh, talk about the law being done away with it, yep. judgment, they this and that. Yep. Well, the scriptures say where there's no sin, where there's no uh, law, there's no, no sin. sin. Right. So yep. if you say that the law is done away with it, that means you can do what the hell you want to do. Yep. The yep. law's done away with it, so there's no sin. Yeah. But then talk about this judgment day, but then talk about hell. See, yeah. that's, that's, that's confusion. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's why yep. they, we call y'all bugged out. Yep. Because you're hypocrites. You say one thing and then, well, don't want to say this too, but to say that, but like that's why we they say about uh, they or they know by the commandments of men, the precepts yep. of men. Precepts of men, yeah. You know, that's what's going to lead to the yep. be destroyed. Yep. Go off the precepts of your how by Shemesh is written in this book. Not what the man say. So right. you be reading the follow on you speaking. You see, well, hold on, you said that. The Lord didn't say that. Well, say let the Most High be true and every yeah. man a liar. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so. Well, say Isaiah eight twenty to the test to the law to the testament. If they speak not according to this word, that's because there's no light in them. All right, so you got to come out of these scriptures, man. All right, that's what we're talking with. That's why we say, hey, don't shoot the messenger. We're just giving you the message via Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We're not making this up. We're reading it for you right out of the scriptures, man. That's right. First Peter four and eleven. If any man speak. Let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. The right. oracles is going to the saints. Yep. And where do we find the sayings of the Most High? Yahweh Bashim Yahshua in these scriptures. That's right. 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 But it got to come from the proper man yep. that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua set up in the yep. spirit. Exactly. Because why? Because well, a, a preacher or a pastor, he will read the same thing that we read. Yep. But he got his own interpretation, right? Yep. He don't got it through the spirit that Yahweh Bashim yep. Yahshua. You know what I'm saying? So, but like, great, great point. You come out of this book, but hey, like I say, in Second Peter two. There are some false prophets. There are some false teachers. Yeah. And then also what? Rightly divide right, the right, word right, of truth. Yeah. Right, right, you know, man. That's what it comes down to. Like, yeah, it's like, like you said, you got the same pastor. He might read what we're trying to read, but totally, you know, throw it off. You know what I mean? Because right. he going to say what he's going to say to appease that person. Yep. So he can gain another member of his congregation to pay his car payment. Yep. His car note, shit like that. But yep. like your brother saying, you know, like I said, a, a true man, the pastor that uh, was Jeremiah 3 and 15, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, yeah. Let's get, let's get real quick. Yeah, you got a hot one real quick? Yeah, Jer yeah. Oh, no, very good. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. It says, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, mm -hmm. which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Now, you how much you're not trying to send for He didn't tell the pastor to go into a, a temple made with the hands of men mm -hmm. and preach his word. He said he's going to send the pastor according to his heart. Right, yeah. just like what what, what your house I do. He went out amongst the people, mm -hmm. teaching. Yeah, he went to the synagogue, so to speak, or whatever he had to do. So I know prophecy, but at the end of the day, he was amongst the people. Yep. Right, because right. the church meeting went to be called out, so they was out there. Yep. It, it mentioned what that in Acts seven that uh, seven. that's when they when, when Moses was leading us out of uh, you know ancient Egypt. Yep. That was called they was called the church then. Yep. Right, there's no building with no steeples and no crosses and stuff from nowhere. Yep. Right, he was among the people. You know, so. At the end of the day, like the brother said, the spirit, the Lord, he's going to send past according to his heart. That's going to rightly divide you the truth. Do the spirit you have about your Mashai and not sugarcoat nothing. That's right. Not preaching things, you know, prophesying the seeds, speaking sweet things, 
to uh, to, to uh, appease your feelings. That's right. Mm -hmm. No, we gonna give you the give it to you raw, uncut, raw, whatever the case may be. Straight, no chase. Yeah, straight, you know, no chase. <laughs> right, but yeah. like the brother made a great point. Let the or let the speakers of the orchestra how about you shine? But the one who's gonna be speaking that's gonna be sanctified, sent by your how about you shine through his true and righteous spirit to write and divide you this truth. That's right. That's so important. Yeah. So yep. That's how you tell who the true men of the Lord are. Yep. Right, the pastor you sit up there in church and God came yeah. to me in a vision this morning. Sweat like a mother. Right, sweating like a mother, you know, damn well the Lord ain't come to them in the vision, man. On yep. top of that, they be calling on the wrong name, man. Yep, God. Yep. So hey, because like the scriptures say, yeah. um, then shall you return and discern who served the most high and who served him not. Right, right. Also, the way you're able to discern that is through the scriptures, right? Yeah, right. that's right. So they 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 those who serve him and spoke to one another often, yep. right? Mm -hmm. The true words, yep. the true, the true prophecies, the true will of your how about you know shine. And like you said, the Lord you discern between who's righteous and wicked. But if you had to discern that as you was reading, you would see that these people who are in these these speech churches, they not right. So, and then you may have people in the congregation that the Lord may pull out of that, but at the time being, they being led astray by a false prophet. Yep. You know, and they like I said they may read the scripture. Then what they do, they incorporate something within their own life. They ain't got shit to do with what they just read. Yep. To confuse you, then they pass around that damn plate. Yep. But he up there, bald head, bald face, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, in the recession, you know, after we get done, after this last election, you know, we gonna pass the plate around and, you know, we got pork butt sandwiches in the in the basement. Right. You no know, hot dogs and hog balls and, Right. You know, got one too. Yeah, you know, right. but, but yeah, just, both yeah, just to say that though, but you, you'll know through the spirit you have about your shine when he put the sermon on you. Who's his true man and who's not? That's right. That's right. Out. This is uh, Luke ten and sixteen. Yep. He that heareth you heareth me, mm -hmm. and he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me despises him that sent me. <laughs> Right, so you come up against the middle of the Lord, like say if you have scoffers want to get on the comment board or they want to come up to us here, uh, 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 you know, come up here in person, you know, and not to learn, but to just t talk mess, man. Hey, man, you you're going against you. How about you now, shot, man? So you're going to have to answer for that, man. All right, remember, talk about every item word, man. Rather you, oh, that's the spirit. Go ahead, all right. This is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Right, see the day of judgment, man. And that's rather in your thoughts or speaking out loud, man. All right, the Lord sees all that and hears all of that, man. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to you're gonna have to deal with uh, the mess you put out. Go ahead. So verse 37 says, For by thy words thou shalt be justified, yep. and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Right, let me, somebody give me a, a death and life in the power of the tongue. Get that real quick. Go read that again, slide. This uh, Matthew 12 and 37. For by thy words that thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Right, see? You'll be justified and condemned. So, hey, you'll be justified if what? You come through the words of Yahweh Bashim El you're going to be just fine. You preach your righteousness, doing what you're supposed to, you're going to be just fine. But if you're out here speaking madness, call, calling on other gods, trying to stray your people away, all right, hey, you're going you're gonna to be held accountable for that, man. That's why, going back to the Christian church, man, these pastors, while they... Sweating and Satan up under their feet, man. Look, they 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 is they about to have to pay for that, man. Yeah. All right, they're not gonna get away with poisoning our people, man. And and some of them may even even know that hey, we are, we is like uh, uh, what's what's the big uh, TD Jakes, right? He 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 he, he claims you know he might he is like the tri uh, Ebo tribe, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, right? He'll say that Ebo. But he calls us the true man of the Lord, junk food babies, man. Potato chip prophets. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Talk the best of right. Please but we out here with a clear conscience speaking the words, man. You have uh, like that sweating in line and heaping the holly can't breathe, man. Tight ass suits, man. Because what? You were screaming the wickedness, man. Uh, That's a carbon. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Go ahead. I want to Go ahead, Bob. That's it. Oh, that's another yeah. thing. Go ahead. Yeah. I forgot that. We got, we got what you call. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. This is Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yep. See, death and life are in the power of the tongue. All right. So the, your tongue is really a dangerous uh, object. That's why the, the Lord gave us two eyes, two ears, and one mouth, man. Because really we're supposed to be doing a whole lot of uh, paying attention and listening. 
All right, versus speaking what well, as fools speak. They just speak whatever they say. I come out their mouth, man. Appreciate. All right, but men of the Lord, man. Hey, you, you're humble. You pay attention and you speak. You speak when the time is to speak, man. All right, and then and, and if you and if you're speaking, it better be righteousness, man. You know. I appreciate. That. What do you know, uh, if they that love shall eat the fruit thereof. Right, they shall love and shall eat the fruit thereof. Now that's via what? It's now if we out here. Uh, speaking righteousness, speaking the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Hey, we're gonna get the 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 the, the right fruit from that. All right, we're gonna be fine. That 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 fruit is gonna be a, a, a righteous fruit, man. All right, but hey, if you out here talking madness, talking shit against the prophets, or just like I said, speaking everything contrary to the scriptures, man. Hey, you go what? Reap what you sow. All right, so you out here speaking wickedness, man. You gonna get the wickedness that you have spoken, spoken upon, man. All right, it's like it's, uh, that one just brought out every idle word, man. So you're gonna be held accountable, man. Lest you repent, man. It's like the little script said, you all must appear for the journey to see you. Oh, my God. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, bro. And this is the book of You break it down, too. Yeah, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 5, verse 10. It says, For we all must appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the, thing, the things done in his body according to Ooh. that. According to that he have done, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So like the brother's been saying, the thing from, from what you speak, right? Even, even um, you know, the things you put uh, a lot of your energy into. Yep. So if you put a lot of your energy in uh, your car, your house, your children, your wives, money, clothes, the luxuries, yep. you know, uh, so you put that before the Heavenly Father, the how about you shot? You're gonna there's gonna be a judgment for that. Yep. You know, right. again, like you said, the Lord is is, is righteous in, in his balance. Yep. You know, so again, we we pour most of our spirit, the elect would be pouring the most of their spirit into the words of the Heavenly Father and doing and doing that. And and that's how we again, like the scriptures say, where wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Yep. By taking heed thereto according to his word. That's so right. you can't you can't cleanse your way by uh a hundred percent just all in folly. Yep. Right? You you know, we're in this world, so we you know, we'll watch a movie, we'll listen to some music, we'll go work out, we'll do things, you know. Hey, but we even even with that is a spiritual a spiritual conversation comes from even watching like the movies, the yeah. T V show. Uh, uh, our whole walk in life. Hey, we could be at the grocery store and be like, look at the way they acting, man. We can see why the Lord gonna come back and destroy this place, man. Everything that we, our whole walk is spiritual, man. Right. So right. we all, you know, not only do we, we preach talking about, hey, filtering the life through the scriptures, but we really live that, man. Like, hey, we, we can't help it, man. Every scenario we're in is, is really could be a teachable moment, man. Uh, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and just something to come to mind. That's the main point by not being a hypocrite. Yep. You know, not being fake and false. We're actually, to the best of our ability, you know, we go off, we're in the flesh. Yep. And to the best of our ability, we walk in these scriptures and we, we yep. listen to Precept. we listen to the prophets and the teachers in which yep. the Lord has sent forth. That's right. Because we had, before we could go out and teach, we had to learn as well. Yep, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. This is uh, James chapter 1, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. That's also, hey, when you hear this, what's not to understand it. Like when this word is being preached unto you, are you got to uh, take it and run with it? Yep. Right? Like it's going to happen with the second chapter. Yep. So also, hey, once we get this word, man, once we get this wisdom, not to understand it, man, our course starts right then and there. Right? And also, hey, what? It says be ye doers of the word and not hear, hearers only, Precept. like the brother's going into, not being a hypocrite. So you got to apply the scripture, man. Yep. Not just hearing it, you know, it going in uh, uh, one ear and not the other, yep. man. Like the brother found Mr. Earlier, early. the Lord gave us uh, 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 two eyes, two ears, and one mouth. Yep. Right? So also, we ought to take more heed to the scriptures right, yep. than to, than to, more than to speak, man. Yep. What it said, uh, then give the sacrifice of food. I had that. Oh, hey, hey you go ahead and grab it and get it real quick. Uh, go ahead with your precept real quick, Taz, and we'll jump back. You know. It's a uh, second answer, nine verse seven. Those talking about. Yeah. It's a and everyone that shall be saved, mm. right? So everyone that shall be saved, yeah. they shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Woo. So it said faith and the works. All right, so they go a. Hey. That's like a, 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 a turkey sandwich, man. All right, the bread and the turkey, man. You, got, you have it together, man. All right, you know, hey, peanut butter and jelly. You know what I'm saying? They go, they go together, man. 
All right, so hey, you not only just need the faith, but you need the works to back it up. Because a lot of people will claim they faith with just their mouth, but but in their works, what they 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 don't they don't do nothing that the Lord asked them to do, man. All right, all right, that's how we can tell who, who's who's true who's truly out here doing what they're supposed to do. Because yeah, you you can just ask them a simple question like what's sin, and then most people can't even tell you what sin is. So that goes to show you, like, oh, you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, you know, because you don't even know what you're doing wrong if you are doing it wrong. You know what I mean? Because what the scriptures say, we only we only know uh, evil by but by the law. You know what I'm saying? Roughly paraphrasing, man. You know? I would say I got one more verse, but to answer point two. So, like you said, you be doing that to the best of your ability, right? Whatever yep. you, whatever you uh, find to do, do it all by might. Yep. As the scriptures say, so like Russ Brown saying, like this is what we believe in the spirit that we've been called for. Yep. Because why we've been doing. Yep. But you may be you, your uh, works may be incorporated in something else towards the body. Exactly. Right? So, like, you may be one of them make garments. You may be an herbalist, help brother with herbs. You may do this, you may do that, but it's all because it's different offices, different ministries. Yep. You know, uh, uh, yeah, that's what I say, different offices yep. in, the, in the ministry, yep. different administrations. Yep. You know what I'm saying? As the scriptures say, what's that, uh, Ephesians and 2 Corinthians, yep. I believe? Yep. So, or the woman of Corinthians, so, yep. but one body. Yeah, yeah so yep. it, everything, like, you may, don't think, oh, I'm not out there doing what I'm doing. But you got doing what you have by Shabbat Shalom appointed you to do. Yeah. You believe in and you're doing up to your best ability. Like bro said, you're trying to live according to the will that you have by Shabbat Shalom to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. So whatever life he put upon you, man, do it all thy might. That's right. You you are you are part of the body. You, you help. You matter. Yeah. Or you just sitting here listening and learning right now. You, you're doing your part. That's that's these works. That they can incorporate into your works. That's what we like to talk about effort, man. Look at the rest of the world, man. You see these people aren't giving any effort towards the Lord, man. They don't care about y'all by shooting outside. They only care about themselves, man. Go ahead. But like but but like you said earlier, if you pull it right to give diligence yep. to make that call election yep. sure. Sorry. Yep. Diligence going to what? Spoon days on the Greek, which yep. means to to give forth an effort. Yep. And to another, try. Another definition there is to make haste. To make haste. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. yep. See so they like, like brothers, make haste. You know, yep. don't don't be you know, say, uh, Make put, put, yep, 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 you have about your own shop. That's right. Right? And you do that because you have faith. And then with that, you say, whereby you have belief. Yep. So you got to believe first to put forth that action. And exactly. then it is that you believe. And just have faith in him. You know? Yep. So, like the Apostle Paul, uh, I think he quoted David. It's like, a, therefore, uh, uh, we believe and therefore we are spoken. Yep. 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 That's it. Hey, that's what we doing. Uh, last verse to yep. say, so again, well, verse 7. He say, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils. Ooh. What we started out with earlier. Yeah. So, perilous times shall come. Yeah. You know, you know uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, evil, 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 evil. Yeah. Right? Going back to, you know, so say, so the people who are going to be preserved from the said perils. Yeah. Right? Because why? That means what they're telling you that what the elect going to be in the midst of Jacob's trouble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in the midst of all the calamities that going to be falling here on earth. So say, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. Right? It's going to be Yahweh by Shema Shai who save you and bring you back to the land. Not no Balfour Declaration right. or you no know, B-52 airplane, you know, train and stuff. <laughs> right. Like, you know, that's not what's going to take you back. You know, right. here, here's your ticket on the train, go back. Right. No, that's not going to take you back or go on this boat, you know, right. USS right. or whatever the hell. Right. You know, no. It's the USS Savior, or something yeah, you know, like that. USS yeah, Niggas. You know. Right. <laughs> but, but it's gonna be you how about you shine through those chariots. Yeah, those, yeah. The so called UFOs, <laughs> UAPs, we know them as the chariots. They identify to us the chariots of you how about you know. Sorry, sorry. Right? They say, For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So those the ones who are gonna be saved in the time period to come, it was already written, like you said, declared the end of the world before the beginning. Yeah. Right. It was already set in stone who's going to receive salvation. It was already set in stone who's going to receive destruction. 
Yeah. So Lord will we do on our part, and then the believers, the poor, y'all pull y'all way, Lord will we be of that elect to receive that salvation, yeah, and right. not to be condemned with this world. That's right. But right. Like he said, he had not appointed us to wrath, but it's a salvation. That's right. So we may go through hiccups here, you know, tribulations here, afflictions here, but it's not to destroy you, it's only to build your faith up so that you continue to believe. That's right. right. You right. know? But, hey, but at the end of the day, it's all up to your how about you not shine to where he designated whatever your lot is, we just hope we're on the right hand side. That's right. Oh yeah, bro. Oh no, you got what's it? Oh, pound of time? Yeah. No, he pulled it out. Right? Like, it was uh, one of the Ecclesiastes five. Um, right. Not the go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it got. Uh, oh, keep five. that foot. Yeah. Keep Ecclesiastes that foot. Yeah, chapter five, yeah. beginning verse one. So. It says, "Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High." Right, and, and what the problem with you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is, y'all don't know how to. Uh, 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 to be humble when it comes to your own people, man. Like if it was Esau Edom out here uh, preaching and teaching this word, you come up, mouth shut, and just listen and nod your head. But now that you see people that look just like you bringing out the words, or even if you talk to your family members or uh, you know whatever, they don't give you the time of day, man. Yeah. All right, they want to they want to talk and, and try to teach you when they ain't told you nothing. You know what I'm saying? But they want to try to teach you all of a sudden. Now they master teachers all of a sudden, right? You know. So, but the Lord telling you that, hey, you really step into the foot of the Lord because really it's the Lord talking to that individual, man, through you. You know what I'm saying? And that's not putting us up on some high pedestal or nothing. We're just saying that the Lord put his spirit upon us to do it. And we say, that's why we give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, oh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. We're not saying it's all praise and glory out to us. Nah, we just, we just realize that we are vessels of the Lord that he's using. And that he could discard us at any time. So that's where our humility comes in. That, hey, we're just thawadi al Shim al for using us, for allowing us, it's for allowing us to, to preach and teach this word, man. Uh, you know? He so, raise up stones. Exactly. They said he raised up stones, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, so, hey, so thank you, you know what I mean, for getting us out of gross darkness, man. Right. You know? Yeah. You know, I was gonna ask you a point. Hey, yeah. you better ask Herod what happened to you. Right. If you don't give the phrases out of gross darkness. There's a God. <laughs> Killed him instantly. Immediately. Immediately. He's, hey, they, they said, this is a god. <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately the Lord said, Get his ass See what happened to Ancient when he was doing to his people. Oh, yeah. He wanted to be like that. But yeah, all right, I'm going to say, I'm going to talk, I'm going to prophesy. <laughs> Hey, he was rotten from the inside out. Hey, he probably trying to dance on his own people. Dude, yeah, dude was looking like fire and mush. Right, <laughs> but hey, but 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 like, but don't say that. You, yeah. Hey, oh, like Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh beast. <laughs> <laughs> And that same thing. He said what he said. That motherfucker animal now. Yeah. You know? Stand up. And then, we, and then when he came back to his senses. He said, all nations before them are as nothing. Nothing. <laughs> hey. Hey. So the Lord make a fair thing. He make tell him what to say himself that he ain't shit. He ain't shit. Yeah. So that's the power that you're dealing with. Yeah. What, what he's saying, Isaiah 40, to what power are you like enough to be? Right. Right? Exactly. Who can you compare it to your house by your mouth shot? Nobody. Nobody at all. So that's why we laugh at you people, man, because y'all really think y'all can buck, a, a buck up against the creator. Here it is, we watching the clay say, tell to the potter, nah, you should do this. What? <laughs> well, <laughs> these, people, these people are through out here, man. Oh, All right. right. Then, then you'll have somebody, you, you, you'll tell Jake that, right? He'll be like, well, we just, uh, we just the clay, and uh, he, you know, the Lord's the potter. He gonna mold us how he needs us to do. Well, someone will say, well, uh, I heard Jake say, uh, well, some of that, some of that clay tries to mold itself. I said, then what happens to that? It gets discarded. <laughs> what do you think the Lord gonna do to you, man? Discard your ass, man. <laughs> and, and you put it in the kiln, the you know what I'm saying, and it starts forming the way. You're like, damn, I didn't make it that way. Toss that Toss shit. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, right. So just like the Lord, man. Hey, his creation looking kind of funny. Hey, he gonna toss it, man. Hey, what happens when you, you take it and then once you get the mold? Put heat to it, yeah. Start to crack, yeah. It's like, oh, oh. no good, no yeah. good, trash, mm. yeah. Broken cistern, throw it, you know what I mean? Right. Straight up, so that's why I say, let the multitude perish that be born in vain, Baby born in vain. That's right, mm. yeah. Mm. We're done, yeah. Uh, get more on that, yeah. Back to Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. Just keep, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the most high, yep. and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food, right. Well, that's what I was telling you. He gave us two ears and one mouth. All right. So we should we ought to be listening more, man. All right. Being humble, 
like you don't know nothing. Like if we, so, you're supposed to be born again, right? So you coming in the state of a baby. The baby don't come out of the womb telling you what what all is gonna go down. No, you up you up and teaching up and tra training up a child up. All right. So we're coming back as, as little children trying to learn something. So if you don't know nothing. Don't say nothing, man. You know. You look silly as hell. Like. Going to school with my hope, I can take astrology. You don't know shit about astrology. Right. But you go in there and try to tell the teacher off. Right. Tell them what's right and what's wrong. Right. Direct the traffic. Well, Where's well, what do you think about calculations? Yeah. But, but, but and that's the same way right here. When you come to us, you don't know what's going on. No. You got an idea of what you thought, you thought that was the truth. It's not. So that means what? Well, you got to forsake all that which you was taught and come up here. Like the circuit saying, the Lord said he came to minister. I'll, I'll minister. Just about that. Not to be minister, <laughs> too. That's right. And that's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, that's why, hey. Hey, if you want to be a, a complete demon, man, just hey, take it up the street, man. We don't need you. We're not here for numbers, man. We're here for the elect. That's it. You can call the direction and hey, hey, get to it. Get to it. All you want to speak that man is cross the street. Right. Jesus, you know what I mean? All right. You have to look at food. Let's go with your high one real quick. We'll jump right back. This is Proverbs 17 and 27. He that hath knowledge spares his words. Yep. And a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Right. See? Because, look, a, a man that, as you can tell that, because what? It said even a man that, uh, uh, it was a cover his lips, it's yeah, considered walking. It's, 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 it's also the same walk keep going. Let me get into yeah, okay. that real quick. This is yeah. 28. Even a fool, yeah. when he holdeth his peace, is yeah. counted as wise. See? Exactly. So, you don't see men of, of wisdom, you know, and understanding. They're not being obnoxious and overly speaking and trying, like I said, trying to teach the teacher. All right? The, the, you know, that, that's, that's a man of no understanding, man. All right, but you can tell a wise man by what? If he sits there, he's humble. He might not say nothing, but what? He's listening, all right? You see him taking notes, all right? He's reading, he's paying attention, man. All right? That's a person of wisdom, man. So you make yourself look real foolish. Like I so said, you start preaching, uh, you know, talking about things that you have no clue what you're talking about, man. And it shows, all right? So people ain't going, oh, he's just a fool, damn fool. You know what I'm saying? Now, people call us fools because they see us out in the rain and the elements and Preaching this world, but hey, we'll also be what we'll be fools for Hamashiach's sake, man. Uh, yeah. All right, because that's part of the uh, that's part of uh, giving our bodies a living sacrifice, man. All right, so hey, we're sacrificing ourselves to be to be looking like uh, fools out here, man. But what, like I said, these people come up, they 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 ramble and say all kinds of madness, man. But what, they're the ones that don't know what they got what, what's about to come to them, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is twenty eight. Even a fool, when, so like it, even a fool when he holdeth his peace is counted wise. And nope. he that shutteth his lips is esteemed is, 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 is esteemed a man of understanding. Yep, see? He's esteemed as a man of understanding, man. Because like I said, you're not running your mouth from the top without even hearing the matter of what's going on, man. It's like I said, you have Jake that just come up here and just start talking, praise Jesus, this, that, until they figure out your message, and then now they scoffing it. Well, that sounds funny, but it's coming straight out of the scripture. Mm -hmm. The shit you saying it sound funny because you can't back it up. So who, who's really looking funny? You know what I mean? So you go back to you. It's, uh, back in Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. It says, Keep thy foot from not going to the house of the Most High and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. Yep. But they consider not that they do evil. Right. They consider they not do evil, man. They don't consider because they don't know anything about the Lord's program, man. Because uh, we were showed just like Thought 1 just brought up Matthew was a 10 and 36. 12, 12, 12 36, yeah, 12 and 36, talking about every idle word, man. See, people don't understand, they don't know that. They don't know that's in the Bible saying, oh, I can't just run my fucking mouth, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially not to the men of the Lord that the Lord set up. They don't understand that the Lord even set us up, see? So that's why you need to understand what's going on first before you say anything, you know? Because we, like, right, you know, we, we say it all the time, we in the time of judgment, yep. all right? So, hey, you really got to watch what you say, especially to the man of the Lord. Hey, man, the Lord will judge you quickly, man. Yeah. All right? And yep. we, we've, seen it, we've seen it at, at camp uh, numerous of times, yep. man. Yeah, right hey, on the somebody spot. Somebody will probably say something, hey, what happened? They slip and bust their head, man. Yep. Okay? Or, or, or they hurt themselves, man. Yep. All right? And let's judge them from the Lord because, what? They probably said something sleep under their lips or they, or they had an evil thought in their head about the man of the Lord. Yep. So, you, you really got to watch what you say, man. You really got to trade thin. When you're dealing with the men of the Lord, man. Yeah, just like that, uh, I don't know if you were there, that scoffer was walking across and tripped and fell. Yeah, and did the, 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 the family guy uh, knee hole, man. The Peter Griffin knee hole for like an hour. Oh. Bro, he did. Got up. Oh. And he fell out in the middle of the street. Got up. Then finally made it to us. 
They figure out what we're talking about, man. The Lord didn't allow him to say oh, nothing. Sent him up the street, man. But he was coming to, for folly, man. But got hurt. Across the street, man. Hey, that's, that's how you did it, too. Yeah. Oh. And I'm telling you, dude was laid out for a minute, man. We he really hurt himself. Oh. Yeah. We've been downtown, bro. Yeah. And we went to the woods and fall straight flat on her face, man. Yep. Like, mm. bust her face. Wow. You know, yep. like, not real. Yep. Like, hey, hey, you know what? And they was like, oh, that's not, you know, we chuckle right. oh that's not funny no that's judgment yeah all right because yeah. she, she the lord it happened right in front of the camp so you know i'm speaking of, you had something to say yep. somebody came out of your mouth that was with you had it with the thought yep. and, and, and you bust the shit for it too man yep yep tripped on the cordless phone you know what i mean <laughs> go ahead whoever got screwed this is one more yeah please you ask these five and two it says be not rash with thy mouth Yep. And let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the most hot. And your heart going into your mind, so don't be, don't just be saying anything that comes to your mind like a little ass kid. Most like some of call. You know, go ahead. Now, uh, if I may ask you one thing, even your house, I was talking about it. Right in uh, a certain number of tribes, the Pharisees, the disciples, where even with unclean hands, and pretty much the boys like, hey, you know, out of the heart proceed uh, blasphemies, uh, murders, or so on and so forth. He said, uh, these things are what's defiling them. Yeah. And that's why, let's say, it, it's not what goes into the defile, but what comes out. Not saying you can eat whatever abomination you want to, but nah, you do more damage with, with the words that you speak, man. Mm -hmm. That's why it tells you that hey, you need to watch your mouth. At the end of the day, that's what the summary is. Watch your mouth, man. All right, because the Lord is going to hold you accountable for that, man. Unless you hey, repent, man. Say somebody, life and death is in the, in the power of the Yeah, time. I did. You were in the bathroom, I think, we were talking about it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, kind. Yeah. Uh, going on, it says, For the most highs in heaven and thou upon earth. Woo! Therefore, Go let thy words be used. I was right. like, really? You, you really want to be quiet and enjoy the time. Yep. Like, if, if it's not concerning the scriptures, you know, or anything doing with Yahweh by Shema Shai, you really want to be quiet because uh, you don't want to utter some shit got to push the Lord off and then the Lord judge the right thing there, man. Yep. So, oh, so ultimately, like the brother's been saying this whole time, at the end of the day, you got to watch what you say because you can't be going out here saying any old thing. But even when it comes to teaching the doctrine, yep. like, you got, like the brother's quoted earlier, rightly dividing the word of truth, man. Yep. You can't be going out here saying, oh, John the Baptist fell out the truth. Right. Right. John the Baptist is a piece play of fish, fish. Play the fish in the past in the hot sauce. Right. What, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what would you even say that? Right. <laughs> like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. But once again, you can't be saying you know, off the wall stuff, man. Yeah. Like, when, it, when it comes to your Howard Bosch, man, you got to come a certain way, not any way you want to, man. Yep, exactly. And then just, just, just to say this, too. Now, we're in these wicked flesh, man. So we're going to have some crazy thoughts. Cause, you know, we have mentioned that hey, yeah. even your thoughts can get you in trouble, right? The but that, desperately that desperately wicked. Who can know it, right? So we got to make sure that what? We pray, all right? Well, that's why we're under grace because the Lord do know, you know, we're, we're trying. But sometimes you can help. So if you have some wicked thought come in your head, you know what I mean? If, 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 hey, we'd all be through if we didn't have the Lord's grace and uh, long suffering right now, man. Uh -huh. All right. But like I said, we're not using that as a license to sin. We're just we're just glad that Yah Bashem Shai has covered us for the times that we do mess up. All right. Even even with them thoughts, like when it comes to certain wicked thoughts, you can you can like even though it doesn't fully come to pass, yeah. you can like in your mind yeah. see it come from a mile away. Yep. And no matter how hard you try to stop it, that yep. thought still comes to pass. Yeah. So pretty much like like the brother going into that shows how much we need the grace of Yah Bashem Shai. Because yeah. for one, we're not in control. Yep. Right. These demons, the spirits, these principalities can come at us from whatever avenue, yep. right? You know, uh, as the Lord gave him permission, because what? That's the same thing that happened with Job, yep. right? The Lord gave Satan permission to plague Job. Yep. Just like the Lord is giving Satan and his demons permission to afflict us, throw these various different thoughts in our head, yep. so on and so forth. Yep. Tells me, at the end of the day, it all boils down to faith in Yahweh Bashem Yashat. That's right, uh, that's right. Go ahead, you're up. This is Proverbs chapter 19 and verse nine, uh, 29. It says, judgments are prepared for mm -hmm. scorners and stripes <laughs> for, nice. for the back of fools. Go ahead, uh, A, so A straight up. A, A, and, 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 and that's the spirit that, that what the two thirds are in, all right? They don't want to hear uh, the, the words of Yahweh Bashan outside. They really hate that righteous vibration, all yep. right? The, the, the righteous vibration from the outside. Yep. Right, when they see men right, uh, together 
Are right, you speaking the words in y'all boxing outside, you know, uh, prophesying out there on the street corner? Yep. You know, a majority of our people, they just have, uh, 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 they, 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 they hate hearing the words of the Lord, man. That's right. Because they know it's something righteous. All right, our our people are always occupied in, in wickedness, man. Yep. All right, and whether they they you know they're thinking something wicked, all right, in their mind or or, or they utter it verbally. Yep. All right, there, there's an actual judgment, all right, behind that, man. Yep. All right, yep. and it makes me think of uh, think about when uh, uh, when those children uh, came up to Elisha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. Yep. Forty and two she bears. <laughs> all of them. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, and, and that was instant right there. That's just an example, man. Yeah, all right, yeah. and we're we're coming in sometimes, man. Hey, you don't know what y'all about Shana Shai gonna gonna uh, uh, prepare for a scoffer or a scorner, man. Exactly. You know, just someone just just speaking uh, uh against something that that they don't even have no like like you don't even know what's going on. Yeah. And here is you you want to scoff? Yeah. I you know, to, to add a point in you know, the scripture going to how these as natural group beasts Please, yep. speak evil things and understand nothing. Yep. And that's how you know Jake is fucked up because, yep. you know, if you don't understand something, shouldn't the first thing you do is try to seek to understand it? Right. right. But when it comes to our people, man, if they don't understand something, they, 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 they cast away at me like, oh, 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 what, what the hell is this? Right. Y'all bugged out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, say, hey, my people don't consider it. Isaiah is the first chapter, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? saying? People are destroyed for a lack like of knowledge, knowledge man. Mm -hmm. They don't even consider it, all right? They don't They don't consider that they're doing the evil, man. They don't consider, they don't even realize that they just mark themselves for death, man, unless they repent, yeah. man. They don't realize that. All these look in this walk, man, and, you know, probably speaking for all y'all, but all the, all the people we done talked to in this world, man, and... It's all to be marked, man. You know, all these people that didn't receive it or, or, or they they acted like they got it for a season, you know what I mean? And they never really t did anything with it. Went right back to the world, no problem. Shit. Man, shit. look, it, it, it's going to be bad for Because it said what? Read that again. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 29. It says, judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. Yeah, so see, the Lord's coming with straight judgment for y'all, man. All right. So, like I said, when you don't have this wisdom as a stand, uh, standing, you're, you're a foolish person, man. You know say you're just a, you're just a brute beast out here, man. Just doing whatever. All right, with no no uh, no direction in this world, man. All right, just not knowing what's going on, man. You just you just caught up in all the the lust of your own flesh, and then not realizing that the Lord's about to come back and destroy this place, man. You know. It's a uh, Proverbs chapter fifteen and verse nine. The way of the wicked is an abomination until you have about you on the shot. Right? So your ways is like a filthy, wicked, hated act yep. until you have about you on the shot. Right? They say, the what? Those ways are what? Contrary to the will of you have about you on the shot. You living against the commandments. Yep. Right? Showing what? That you hate you have about you on the shot. And like you say, those that hate him, you love death. Yep. Right? That's right. And then to go into it and say this. But he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. So the ones who's pursuing after righteousness, that which is good, that which is right, according to the scriptures, he loveth them, yep. right? right? Yeah, you may, you know, and then also what he do, say what, he chastise those who love his will. Yep. So, that, you know, hey, the Lord ultimately is going to look out for his elect. The scripture says, well, he has to care for his elect. That's right. That's you right. know, right. so at the end of the day, those who are pursuing him sincerely, then he's going to look out for it. Right. Yeah, sometimes he got to punish you, but hey, that's that's what a righteous father will do. You, 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 you slip up, you know what I'm saying, you, you sin, and you turn up, whatever case may be. I said, slip up like that, you know what I'm saying? What are you going to do? You're going to get a little spank in here and there, but you ain't going to destroy you. You're going to, hey, give right. a reminder, hey, that's not the way to go. So right. I do that again. Yep. Right? You say, uh, first And team. that's love. Yeah. That's love. Uh, it's like, it's like, no, right. son, don't go that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, I don't want you to go over here. I'm, hey, let me... Let me tear some shit up for your life. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna kill you. That's what it said. Uh, uh, what it, I think, I believe it's King David. I think the song is like, like, correct me, but not with your, uh, with wrath, with wrath. Oh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to be corrected by the Lord's wrath. Because when the Lord, uh, He's in a wrathful state, and we ain't gonna exist. All right. Mm -hmm. So correct us enough to where what we we just get better, mm -hmm. but not destroyed. You know what I mean? Isaiah would say that wrath, remember mercy. Yeah, see. Yeah, because. Yeah. The, 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 wrath, the wrath of Yahweh watching that shine far exceeds our imagination. Yep. I'm, I'm just putting it there. Yeah. He, he, also speak, he also speaks about his mercy being compared to his majesty. Exactly. 
So we can we can we can pull all our hands together to try to brainstorm, but we will never be able to see the what what the Abba Shashai can do. Like you said, from my ways, my ways, and my thoughts are my thoughts. Right, right. Seeing that he is higher than us, you know, we can't think of the, the other ways in the mind of the Abba He gives us bits and pieces, right? But he said the secret things belong but to him. Yep. All we know is, man, like he's like bro said, like his wrath is man, we can't comprehend that ultimately. Yeah. And also with his mercy, it's, it's, it's like he said, just as his majesty. Right, and just to give that point, because what, even the two thirds, right, let's say in second measures, uh, they receive benefits, but yet they've not known me. You know what I'm saying? So our people, you know, in this, you know, hey, they getting taken care of whether they know it or not. But the Lord's really about to cut off total mercy, though. When the doors of mercy is totally shut, there's electors still, hey, they just out there, man, with, with, without. Go ahead. Right. They go into the Lord's mercy. Yeah. Even those who will receive that wrath on this side. And all Israel shall be saved. He go on grab <laughs> hey, mercy. See, mercy far exceeds his aim. Yeah. Yeah. So he, yeah. he, he, he going he, he gonna definitely receive that mercy. And you. that's that's a great point, see, because the Lord ain't a hypocrite as well. So if he's telling us to do something, best believe he's on it. Yeah, right. So if he if he say uh, 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 you know to remember mercy for us too, because even in our judgments, you know, we gotta remember the mercy that the Lord put on us, man. So we ain't about to just brother hell no. Why'd you do that? Your ass is uh, suspended, you know what I'm saying? But then you're like, damn, did you just do that? You know what I'm saying? You had to learn too, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that that's why we gotta remember mercy ourselves, man. It's like the Lord's mercy for them. That's scary because like the like the Lord can show you mercy, you know, for something you did wrong, and then a brother did something wrong, you get all blah blah blah, blah you wicked I but hey, just yeah. hey, just like the Lord, man. Hey, like the Lord remembers mercy on us, we gotta remember mercy on each other. Yep. Yep. They we, hey, you don't know who you talking to. Yep. That brother you mouth and off from could be he could be Michael. Yep. He could be Nahum. Yep. He could be Ezekiel. Any of the prophets, man. Yep. Like you don't want the Lord to judge you, right, for coming against his men a certain way. Yep. Yep. Okay, we got a little hope. Verse 10, Proverbs 15, verse 10. Correction is grievous unto him mm. that forsaketh the way. Mm. So you, you got you got it, I. Yeah, so so it's it's grievous it just it just grinds your gear so to, right. to be told right. that which is right versus what you're doing which is wrong. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's safe unto him that forsaken the way. What way? The way you have by Shimon Shah. Not the ways right. of these world this world. That's right. You're gonna be able to be accepted by what you do in this world, word, this world, but you're not gonna be accepted, you know, being a demon, being a nigga and being contrary to your how about Shimon Shah. Yep. So you correct the man like you say, like we always those small little things. Stop smoking. Stop popping your neighbor's wife, stop being abominations, you know, stop committing usury upon your brother, so forth and so on. You tell a, a nigga that, that, man, what the hell, I ain't trying to hear that. Who do you think you is? Right. It's grievous to tell them something that'll save their soul. Yep. But they say this, he that hated reproof, so those who hate that reproof shall die. Yep. So, I go brought out, those, hey, just are prepared for a market of stories. So the strikes the back of food. Yep. So hey, if you hate to be reproved by the spirit of power and the words that you have about Shemel Shai, he gonna put you to death. Yeah. Point blank period. Yep. No way around it. Yep. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 3. It says, Commit thy works unto Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and thy thoughts shall be established. So so what are the works? You know, first um, learning from the prophets, the men in descent, yep. uh, prayer, fasting, mm -hmm. all right, repenting, mm -hmm. all right, going out, like I said, if, and if you're able body and he's called you to do it, go out into the highways and byways, yep. uh, and preach the word, uh, also being charitable to your brothers, yep. right? So there's a array of things that we can do as far as our works, and like uh, brother brought out, you know, there's many different administrations, you know, yep. uh, that the Lord can use you for if he so choose to use you. All right. Hey, so, hey, yeah. hey. And, and we're doing charity right now as well. Yeah. Hey, preaching and teaching this word. That's part of being charitable right. as well. Because, right. well, we know we need this wisdom and eyes understanding to, to make it, man. Yeah. Hey, because otherwise, man, we, hey, we, we're we doomed, you know? So that's why we need the wise words of Yahweh and Shema Shah through the scriptures, man. So that way we can endure to the very end, man. Because that's. Once again, bring that again. Wisdom, knowledge shall be the stability of that time. So the only way we'll be stable is that, hey, is one that the, the Lord gifts us with faith, 
and then the company that company that company that with what the the wisdom knowledge understanding of the scriptures, man. Right. All right, because right? to know where we're at. Because if, if you don't know these scriptures, you don't even know what time period you're at. You think in this place we got another ten thousand years before the Lord come back. You you still hear that shit today, man. Yeah, okay. Then you really find out. Hey, people really ain't read no, nothing. They just know. They just think they know something. They ain't never read nothing, man. You can pray and ask about it, but at the end of the day, guess what? It's going to be uh, according to his time. Because the scripture do say, like I said, uh, he quoted earlier, uh, he, he prayed for a few days. Yeah, so the Lord did require us to do that. But at the end of the day, it's still going to be according to his time, though. Mm -hmm. you know? So, hey, with, with that, we pray that I was edifying to the body. We'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shot, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. <laughs> and shalom to the sincere brothers and sisters uh, learn, learning on the, uh, learn, uh, like it. listening and learning. And to you brothers preaching and teaching us the truth through the four corners of the earth. Ababa ba ba. Ababa ba. Shalom. Shalom.